They were my most problematic pair, but they were one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite sunglasses of all time. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna be reviewing Kia Australia. They are such a popular sunglass brand. I know a lot of people have heard about them through influencers on Instagram or YouTube, or you've heard about them through their celebrity collaborations with people like JLo or Lizzo or A-Rod. But because they're such a popular brand, I decided to just do a review on the brand as a whole and show you guys the sunglasses that I've purchased from Kia Australia over the years and basically just talk about my favorite, the good, the bad, and the ones that have given me the most issues. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with my most favorite sunglasses and they have so many different versions of these and I'm so excited to kind of just start off with this. If you know me, then you know that I absolutely love aviators. So the first two pairs are gonna be a few pairs of aviators. So before I start off, you're gonna notice that there are a few sunglasses that I actually don't have right now and it's because they either broke or there was some other issue with them. So I'll get into that when I actually start talking about them. I do have some physical ones with me. If I don't have them, then I'll just show a picture up here. So the first pair that I'm gonna be talking about are so beautiful and it's these high key sunglasses. I love these and I know that they are a big favorite for so many people. These were actually part of a collaboration with Desi Perkins when I first purchased them years and years and years ago. So these were part of her first collaboration with Key and I love them. They are gold all around and then they just have this mirrored lens finish and these are literally perfect for people like me. I'm the type of person to kind of just like get on the train and accidentally start staring people down. And it's not because I'm just staring at you or judging you, but it's because I'm like deep into my thoughts <laughs> and I end up staring you down. So if you're just like me, you put these on and it's like, boom, who am I looking at? You don't know, you can't tell. I'm not looking at you. You don't know which direction I'm looking at. So these are perfect if you're like me. <laughs> Nobody can see your eyes and I feel like that's one of my favorite things about wearing sunglasses period besides the fact that you look so cool wearing them. If nobody can see your eyes, there will be less problems started. <laughs> Let me tell you. So I know that since the first launch of um, the collaboration with Desi, Key Australia has actually had a few different sizes of these or I think like two different sizes, but so many different versions of these sunglasses. These were one of the original high keys. I know that they have the high key mini now and they have so many different colors and versions of these, but they all look so beautiful. So I definitely recommend these. The only issue, and it's literally the only issue at all that I have with these sunglasses is the fact that Kia Australia tends to have this problem with their mirrored sunglasses they tend to get very scratched up very easily and I think I, you can kind of tell here, but it tends to get very scratched up. I have friends who have these same exact ones and theirs are even worse, like really badly scratched up and it's from wearing them for so long. But it's like that kind of sucks because their other sunglasses don't have the issue, just the ones that are kind of coated with the um, mirror type of finish on their lenses so that's the only issue that I have with these my next pair of sunglasses I don't have physically with me but they were one of my absolute favorite 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 sunglasses of all time like I said I'm a huge fan of aviators and if you know me then you know that I'm wearing black the majority of the year so my next favorite sunglasses from key were these Vivian aviator sunglasses oh my god you guys I wore these almost every single day day these were my absolute favorite they're oversized they're all black i love the finish i love everything about these sunglasses but the only reason why i don't have them physically with me anymore is because i was an idiot and i forgot to bring the case with me one day that it comes with so I accidentally spilled something in my bag and the sunglasses were ruined so i had to throw them out but if I didn't do that, then I would still have them to this day and I bought them so many years ago and even year after year and after so many wears, they were still perfect. They actually had no scratches on them, but the all black Vivians, the most perfect pair of sunglasses I've ever owned. And honestly, I feel like those are better than the all black Ray-Bans that I have. 
and that's saying a lot because Ray-Ban is so much more expensive than the Key Australia one so if you're in the market for some all black aviators definitely go for the Vivian I feel like even the high keys are come in all black and I definitely recommend so my next pair of sunglasses I'm gonna be talking about I don't have physically with me anymore and these I had a love-hate relationship with them so let me tell you why I don't have these anymore these were actually another pair of sunglasses from Desi's collaboration with Haiki when she first started collaborating with them and they are the on the low sunglasses in black with the gold on the side oh my god you guys these were my absolute favorite sunglasses at the time when I first purchased them just because they were so beautiful they were matte all over I love the gold on the side I love how big and oversized they were you just look like a freaking badass whenever you wore them but that's all they were they were the most beautiful pair of sunglasses that had the most issues they were so problematic they were my most problematic Hair. and it's so unfortunate because they were so beautiful so it started off one day I was wearing them and then I put them away and then out of nowhere the next time I took them out to wear them it's like I don't really know how to describe it but it was the side of the sunglasses it broke off like it broke apart and then this and then the lenses kind of just popped out and I don't know what it was. I think it was the material that the sunglass frames were actually made out of because it wasn't metal. These sunglasses were actually made out of some other type of material that wasn't as strong as their metals. And it literally just popped open and the lenses popped out. And I was just like, like how? How did this even happen? So because I love them so much, I decided to kind of just try and glue them back together because I just really really love them and I couldn't afford to buy another pair at the time so I just popped the lens back in and I tried to glue them back together but obviously that didn't help because I don't have them to this day um, they just came back apart and then after that one of the legs actually came apart as well like I don't know I don't I don't know what happened to these sunglasses you guys they and it's not like it none of this stuff happens while they were sitting in my bag or something like that they didn't have anything on top of them to break them they were literally sitting on my dresser put away in their own little box and then they kind of just fell apart on their own i don't know what it was but they were my most problematic ones so i will say if you're gonna be buying anything from this brand then definitely don't go for anything that doesn't have a metal frame or something that has like very sturdy plastic frames because then you might have the problem that I had with these sunglasses and they will fall apart so quickly. I barely got a few months of wear out of these sunglasses, which is so sad because I really, really was so excited about them. But what are you gonna do? The next pair of sunglasses that I purchased are these little trendy sunglasses. They're so cute. They are just so trendy, small little rectangular sunglasses. I love the color. There's this is such a nice color and it's so different from um, the sunglasses that I wear all the time. I just wear these when I'm going for like a trendier type of look. Um, so these are the Strange Love sunglasses from Key, and I actually didn't purchase these from their website. I purchased these from Nordstrom Rack. So here's another thing. If you love their sunglasses, but you don't want to pay the $60, $65 price tag for any of these, then you can go to NordstromRack.com or you can go to your nearest Nordstrom Rack. And I know that there are a few other stores that actually sell these two at a discounted price, but you can do what I did. I went to Nordstrom Rack in store. I saw these and I purchased them the same day for $25, which is a steal for these sunglasses. And when I was there, I saw a few pairs of aviators or just square basic sunglasses from them. So they do end up getting a few different styles and they sell them for like $20, $25. So if you don't wanna pay the price tag, if you feel like it's too much for you, then definitely check out those other websites because they definitely have great deals on them. So these are not made out of metal, but this material is actually very, very tough. It's very hard and I have had no issues with these at all. No issues with the frames, no issues with the lenses. They have not scratched at all these so far have been perfect 
This colorway I know has been discontinued and sold out everywhere, but, but I was able to find these in all black that did also look really, really nice on a few other websites. So anything that, that is still in stock from what I'm showing you that I find online or on the Key Australia website, I'm gonna be linking down below just so that it's easier for you guys to find. Um, but these, I don't think this colorway is available anymore, but I did see them in black still in stock on certain websites. So I'll just link that down below. The last pair of sunglasses are my least favorite. They were like, they were my most favorite when I purchased them many years ago, but like I'm so over them. These were actually also part of an influencer collaboration and this time it wasn't with Desi. These sunglasses were part of the collab with Crispy. She's another beauty influencer. So I wore these all the time when I first purchased them years ago. And if you purchased anything from the Kia and Crispy collaboration, then you know this was a very, very long time ago. So I used to wear these. I'm over them because these were literally trendy at the moment. When these came out, there were so many dupes, so many replicas, just so many similar sunglasses to the shape and in the same rose gold color. They say it's rose gold, but it, it just looks pink to me. I'm not a fan of pink sunglasses anymore. They also have the mirrored finish and you can definitely tell on these that the mirrored sunglasses from Key scratch up so badly. Like, let me just show you guys. So that is not a stain. That's literally just the coating scratched off and wearing off over the years. That's what kind of just leads me to believe that it's a problem with the coating for these sunglasses. I don't know if they've gotten better over the years or recently, but this clearly is a problem for the two sunglasses that I have from them that do have this um, this type of coating on the lenses. They do get very scratched up. But besides that, the frames are great quality since they are like the metal frame. And this is what it looked like on. I've kept these over the years even though I haven't worn them just because, I don't know, I feel like these were one of the first pair of key sunglasses that I actually ever picked up. And this is when I was first getting into sunglasses. So I don't know, I feel like I have some sort of a connection with them, which is why I haven't gotten rid of them, but I'm glad I didn't because I get to show you guys my first pair of Key sunglasses. So that's pretty much everything that I've purchased from Key Australia. I'm happy I was able to share my favorites along with my most problematic pairs, the ones with the most issues and the ones with the least issues, and just my overall thoughts on the brand. I feel like for the price point, they're pretty good in my opinion. They might not be affordable to some, but they might be affordable to others. So I guess the price point kind of just depends on you. But I feel like overall, they are pretty good quality sunglasses. I would definitely avoid the sunglasses that have the mirrored finish. Definitely avoid the sunglasses that don't have a metal or like a really tough plastic um, type of frame because I already told you guys they fall apart in no time so avoid those if you're gonna go for the aviators those are my number one recommendations they're just absolutely perfect um but yeah that's it don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys